absolutely inspired for almost every occasion. This has been a show like no other, and we've got to do it one more time right here in the kitchen. And this is something special that you're going to absolutely love. So let me see if I can sell you on this one. Listen up for this, right? We're talking about something crispy, creamy, and easy. Yeah, I think you're already sold, and you are about to be diving into this recipe and making it for all your friends, because we're going to be making an air-fried pork belly salad with a creamy honey dressing and a perfect summer dinner that's a little fancy but easy to throw together. And of course, Zoe couldn't resist coming to join me on this one, because it is a treat, to say the least, all right? Oh, uh, you're a fan of pork belly? Love pork mm -hmm. belly, but I even love my air fryer more. So the <laughs> fact that you're giving me a recipe I can do in the air fryer, I'm intrigued. Which is crazy, because normally Normally you do not do things like this in an air fryer, but somehow it works so, so well. And we're going to show you just how it's done, right? So um, you're going to assist me with this one? Yes. All right, so we've got two things happening here. There's a dressing, uh, which is on the right-hand side. So that's some honey. You've got some mustard. And then I'm going to grab our hero okay, ingredients. Okay, so I'll get going on yeah. our dressing with the honey and the mustard. But of course, there's one thing that you've got to add to that, and that's a half a cup of our double cream yogurt, which oh. is really going to bring this thing to life, let me tell you. So while Zoe's on that, I'm going to be putting together what we would call like a, uh, not a base thing, but it's just really something that's going to bring some of the flavor out, and especially on the underside of this uh, pork belly that we have here. So what we've got is some sugar going in there. We've got some white pepper as well, and then we've got some five spices. Now, this is like a Chinese blend of spices that has really kind of brought a lot of meats, especially pork. You know, in China, they're really big on their pork, on their ramen, etc. And uh, this this has been perfectly curated to bring all this to life. So I'm going to add a pinch of salt to that. How's that uh, dressing coming This dressing on? is looking oh, look beautiful. At look at that creaminess. Nice. We've got the mustard seeds. And I probably should have added the honey last because now all the honey is stuck at the bottom. But hey, we learn <laughs> as we okay. go. That's um, okay. So I've just finished this beautiful mix of a basting, which you can see there while I'm turning it out. Maybe the camera's got a view of it right now. But it really comes together quite nicely. And uh, this is where the fun begins because oh, you can actually start basting that but more importantly don't baste the top and why because there's a little bit of like science that comes into this right because once you put this in the air fryer a lot of the fat's going to render and okay. normally in an air fryer that fat would disappear through that filter which is that basket that it sits on but we're not going to do that we're actually taking this meat and placing it on top of this tin also foil. The, the, the fat can stay by the meat. Yes, so okay. we're keeping all the flavor of the fat that gets rendered out of the skin especially, and we're allowing it to kind of uh, soup up and just become a pool of marinade within itself. So okay. that's why we're not going to baste the, the, the fatty part of this too much because that fat's already coming out. Okay. So we don't want to add more to it. We don't want to add more oil unnecessarily. So you can get a light basting on the top, but the bottom where the meat is, that's, that's really where we're going to work this. So yeah. are we just going to do a teeny tiny yeah, just light just a teeny basting? tiny bit. Yeah, that's perfect. Perfect. That's great. And then do we flip that onto the foil? Yeah, then you can flip it on the foil. But what you want to do is actually just baste the underneath of that, right? Oh, so I thought I was going to flip it on the foil and then baste that. Oh, you could actually do that, I suppose. <laughs> that's just probably a okay. smart idea. But this is where we really want this basting to kind of get into the meat right now. And you'll see it has uh, tenderization sort of uh, effects. It has flavorizing effects as well. And it just really just allows this to get absorbed in by the meat. And again, not adding too much oil because we'll be left over with a lot of that rendered from the fat, which adds oh. and enhances the flavor of this. There we go. Beautifully oh, done. This yes, looks please. Beautiful. So, like I said, now what we're going to be doing is obviously taking this meat. I'm gonna. I don't know if I should leave the fat side on top or not. What do you think, actually? I think put the fat side fat on, on top. top yeah. yeah, so we can get a nice crispiness on that. But now this is what I meant with regards to the fold. So you're kind of going to have this folded over so that it keeps most of the fat. And when we place it in the air fryer, like you see over here, bum bum bum. And let me actually just bring this closer so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So I've got the air fryer there. This is the basket I was talking about that lets the fat like kind of render out. But we're keeping it by placing this straight on top, making sure that it all curls up. There we go. So and if I can show you... So that none of the fat drips off. Yeah, check you it that. make sure it is like a perfect little foil basket. Beautifully done. And then as simple as that, we pop it in the air fryer. Just a reminder, we are using the air fryer for this. You're going to go at about 180 degrees for about 30 minutes and voila. Simple as that. Yeah. That's amazing. So we've got our basting that's been done and put on the meat. You've got our lovely drizzle that's got that 
double cream added to it. Uh, simply what we're going to do is fast forward in the future because we've already prepared something for us right now. So we've got our final bowl over here. So let me just take this out I of the can way. clear that for oh, you. Thank you so much. And then we're going to start off with some of this stuff. So we've got some cabbage going in here. So this is really going to kind of pre uh, create the base of this meal. So pop some cabbage in and love the colors that we're using here. We've got some apple as well, which is going to be really fun. Um, while we are putting all of this together, because I said apple, we've got some uh, spring onion going in there too. You've got that uh, lovely sort of dressing that you've just created. So we're going to pop that in. Don't forget our meat. That's very important. So does the dressing go on top? Yeah, yeah. so we'll okay. leave that for like the final. Oh, We've got some well, pecan nuts over there too. Amazing. Well, we are yeah. using Clover's double cream plain yogurt for the dressing. It is a real trick because it is full body and it's the flavor just makes this dressing absolutely irresistible and indulgent. So how much Look of that dressing this. is necessary? This is freaking restaurant quality if you ask me. Oh, I love it. I was a bit nervous about this, I'm going to be honest. Firstly, making uh, pork in an air fryer, but it came out so well. I the fact like that we need to try the pork belly that's been made in the air fryer okay. and give the honest All review right. on whether the air fryer is the way of going. Over there yeah. Come on, crispy skin. Let's sauce. dig in. Mzanzi, you ready for the proof in the pudding? Because the thing, I think the fear with cooking your pork belly in the air fryer is it being dried out. Nope, no drying out. I've got a perfectly roasted mm. uh, fat skin here. It's crunchy, the insides are soft. Mm. The Oh, the flavor is so good. Mm, this is a win. This dressing is a winner. I think that just that's like the cherry on the top of all of this. Honestly, mm. that double creaminess coming through. <gasps> With a oh, hint of ever. honey, the sweetness mm. and the mustard, beautiful blend. Oh, this is delicious. Absolutely well played. Well, Mzanzi, you know where to get it. Expresso.com for your recipe inspiration. This one was done with the beautiful double cream inspiration, which I think has just finished this off perfectly. I can't even talk. I just want to carry on chewing. But you go make this at home, and I trust everybody is going to love it. Oh, this was good. Nicely done. Double cream plain yogurt from Clover. Just plain amazing.